Hello, my name is Deirdre Kent from the New Economics Party of New Zealand, and I'd like to explain to you why we came, why we started this party, and what our big policy is. I won't, I won't explain all the policies, but the reason we came into the into existence is that we, with frustration, that uh, the Green Party and other parties are not addressing the money system, and they're not addressing the tax system. The money system is such that it requires constant growth of the money supply, which requires constant growth of the economy, which is impossible on a finite planet to just rape it. Okay, and this widens the gap between rich and poor and causes environmental damage. Catastrophic now, actually. Okay, the tax system, it is illogical to tax work and sales and trade and enterprise. And that's what we do when we tax income tax, sales tax and uh, company tax. So we've got a big problem and we're actually going to, in this scheme, put those two intractable issues together together with another problem that people have been wanting for centuries, and that is gradually getting to a citizen's dividend, which is livable. Um, and this is how we're going to do it. We suggest that Treasury spends into existence tradable tax credits by buying up the land of those who opt in to a scheme. These people might be those who paid off their mortgage or a mature a community tr land trust, housing trust, or anybody who thinks that they can uh, use this scheme for a start. Okay, so you get the tra tradable tax credits, and that is quite a large chunk of tradable tax credits that you know are good for tax and they're dated, they have to be in for tax by a certain date, maybe two years away. So you work out how to spend them and strangely enough what happens is that when they're designed where the trades on them are not have no income tax, no sales tax and no company tax but they do have resource taxes, quite steep ones if you want to spend them on fossil fuels or other parts of the or other things in the environment which damage it, take more than your share of the commons, then you are going to um, spend it on something which will produce a revenue for years to come so that you can pay your land rates. And that's what you need to pay, having had your land bought by the government, the treasury, which is us after all. Uh, you will then pay land rates on that land in perpetuity, and the owner of that property will always pay land rates in perpetuity, perpetuity to the government, and that'll be shared with the local authority and be called land rates, and you won't have to pay rates anymore. The When there's sufficient revenue the government will then hand out to every citizen a citizen's dividend in a digital form through a New Zealand owned bank. And that will circulate and each time more and more people, as more people opt into the scheme, that will get bigger and bigger until finally it's a livable income for those who want to use it. Now, there's a lot of things in this scheme that I'm not going to explain right now, but we've got a slideshow on a, a site called slideshare.net, and we've also got it up on our website, which is neweconomics.net.nz. We believe that this policy will produce jobs will insulate houses, will drop the price of houses because land is at least half your house price, um, will reduce prices because there's no tax, no tax burden on every trade, uh, 
reduce prices, make your uh, make everything more affordable, and produce jobs for a post fossil fuel economy. It's that that we need a post fossil fuel economy. Our GDP growth paradigm is over. It's time to reinvent a new economy, and that means a new currency system and a new tax system and a new welfare system and a new way of funding local authorities. And that is what this scheme does. So if you think that it's worth following this up, it's a bit of an unusual idea. We grant you, and it's taken a while to think up and get to the stage where we'll present it to you. Please join us. We need your support so that we can genuinely say vote the New Economics Party in 2014. For this we're going to need 500 members. You can download our membership form from our website neweconomics.net.nz and send it in if you live in New Zealand and uh, we will have enough to, to really present this to the New Zealand public because it's not going away. We've got to solve it. We've got to solve the widening gap between rich and poor and we've got to solve the environmental problem which is bringing us climate change. So thanks very much. Look forward to your, your support and your ideas. Thank you.